Indian cities are vibrant, diverse, and constantly evolving. But they are also on the front line of climate change. Extreme weather, challenges in water security, and rising pollution are testing the resilience of urban life, threatening not just the environment, but the health and well-being of millions. Climate change is upon us. We see series of events when high temperatures up to 50 degrees cause water shortages and then come monsoon and we have floods. Our Indian cities need to become climate resilient. This is the story of three cities in Maharashtra, it's Alkaranji, Vita and Karad and their proactive measures to address the effects of climate change. The city governments partnered with the Center for Water and Sanitation at SEPT University and HSBC India in an innovative CSR project demonstrating corporate support for sustainable development. We have deliberately chosen smaller towns and our effort is to demonstrate how these small cities in India that represent the 4,000 other smaller cities in the country, how can they become climate resilient? How can they contribute to the national goals of becoming energy neutral will help India achieve NDC. Itzel Karanji is a municipal corporation with a population of around 3.7 lakh. Alongside Vita and Karad are towns with population between 60,000 and 90,000. Each city is tackling water and sanitation challenges in unique ways. Let's take a closer look at the initiatives being implemented across the three cities. Climate change is closely linked to the greenhouse gas emissions. So for this, we worked on the direct and the indirect emissions that happen across the wash service chain in the infrastructure and the service section. Operating water supply and sewage systems in urban areas consumes a lot of energy, most of which comes from fossil fuel based power plants. To reduce these indirect emissions, it's crucial to optimize energy use and transition these systems to renewable energy sources. An energy audit was conducted for municipal water and sanitation operations that identifies the opportunities for reduce the energy consumption and also to bring the energy efficiency for various operations. Additionally, we demonstrated energy transition projects at various locations including pumping station, sewage treatment plant, water treatment plant, and fecal sludge treatment plant. In addition, through technical support, we also prepared the PPP-based solar projects for local government for their various municipal operations. At IMC, providing climate resilient wash services has been our priority, and we are channeling our efforts in that direction. I am a solar solar panel solar यामध्ये जलशुद्धीकरण केंद्र जलतरण तलाव नाट्यगृह स्टेडियम या ठिकाणी 800 किलोवॅट क्षमतेचा पीपीपी बेस्ड सोलर प्रकल्प याचं काम प्रगतीपथावर आहे द सोलर पॅनल्स ऑन ऑप्टिमाइज्ड विथ रियल टाइम मॉनिटरिंग नेट मीटरिंग एंड एसएचजी लेड मेंटेनेंस इंश्योरिंग मॅक्सिमम एफिशिएंसी एंड लास्टिंग इंपॅक्ट सस्टेनेबिलिटी गोज बियॉन्ड क्लीन एनर्जी एज पार्ट ऑफ द मिटिगेशन स्ट्रॅटेजी once polluted dumping grounds have been transformed into vibrant urban forests, showcasing a model for climate resilience. We have reclaimed wasteland and converted it into an urban forest with the help of uh, self-help groups. These urban forests not only act as carbon sinks, but since these are located within the treatment sites, the treated used water is being used to water the plants. We've talked a lot about mitigation and it is very important aspect of climate resilience. But from a water and sanitation perspective, particularly it is very important to also focus on adaptation. In the situation of climate change, when there are floods or very, very high downpouring of rain, it's extremely important that women particularly and children have access to toilets at home. In the vulnerable areas and slums, high footfall community and public toilets have been repaired and upgraded with sanitary pad vending machines and incinerators. 
in order to operate and maintain these community toilets and new lm registered women self help groups have been formally engaged through contracts by the urban local bodies this has led to not only generating employment opportunities but has led to overall city level awareness generation for the town in the sanitation service chain another important adaptation measure linked to toilets is regular septic tank maintenance both towns of itzel karanji and vita rely on septic tanks a common scenario for small and medium towns in india providing free septic tank desludging as a public service in itzel karanji and vita is a step towards climate proofing homes and surroundings vita sharamade apan scheduled desludging हे चालू के लिए बरबर ती विटा शहरा एफ एस टी पी प्लैट ये क्षमता वर्धन के लिए पूर्वी क्षमता टेन के एल डी एवरी होती सद्या जी क्षमता है ती पस्तीस के एल डी इतपर्यंत के लिए आम्मी आप सेफ्टी के टाक्या फ्त पूर्ण भर लाफ कर विसर्जन कुट के आम अजिबा कहत नौत महती हो साफ सफाई खर्च जो होता तो संपूर्ण ऑपरेटर अवलब होता आता ही नवीन योजना आया सर्व नागरिक सुविधा प्राप्त हो वेल मेन्टेन सेप्टिक टैंक्स नॉट जस्ट कीप आर सैनिटेशन सीस्टम्स रनिंग स्मूथली स्टडीज शो दे कैन ऑल्सो रिड्यूस मीथ इन एमिशन्स मेकिंग दैम अ सीम्पल यट पावरफुल मेजर इन द फाइट अगेन्स्ट क्लाइमेट चेंज इट्स एल करंजी वीटा एंड कराड इलेस्ट्रेट हाउस सस्टेनेबल एंड क्लाइमेट रिजिलियंट वॉश सोल्यूशन्स कैन बी अचीव्ड through effective strategies and partnerships uh, the center for water and sanitation at sept university has done a remarkable work and you know it has been a very valuable partner for hsbc in india the solutions are now being scaled up across cities uh, in the state through the maji vasundhara mission the experience of these has been captured in maji vasundhara abhiyan toolkit which is applicable to 28000 plus urban and rural local bodies of maharashtra what i particularly appreciate is the seawashes engagement with women with local communities in terms of their self help groups so that becomes a popular movement to combat climate change at the national level we have linked up with swachh bharat abhiyan program as well as a national urban livelihood mission and we hope this will really lead to cleaner and greener cities for everybody